Revival writer Richard Owen Roberts has said that in a time of revival, it is all eyes on Christ. In other words, revival, if it is real, will draw us away from focusing on ourselves, the things of this world, and even the good things that accompany a time of spiritual awakening, and focus our attention squarely on the beauty and majesty of Jesus Christ. I thought of this truth recently when I heard a quote from the man known as the Prince of Preachers. Charles Haddon Spurgeon's many years of preaching in a London church were marked by an atmosphere of a revival. In the first 10 years of his ministry, the congregation grew so quickly that the church had to move three times to find larger facilities, and Spurgeon often spoke to crowds of 10,000 or more in the days before public address systems. This quote from Spurgeon shows the kind of attitude that I believe was responsible for unleashing the power of the Holy Spirit in the church. He wrote, It is always the Holy Spirit's work to turn our eyes away from self to Jesus. The Holy Spirit turns our eyes entirely away from self. He tells us that we are nothing, but that Christ is everything. Remember, therefore, it is not your hold of Christ that saves you, it is Christ. It is not your joy in Christ that saves you, it is Christ. It is not even faith in Christ, although that is the instrument, it is Christ's blood and merits. Therefore, do not look so much to your hand with which you are grasping Christ as to Christ. Do not look to your hope, but to Jesus, the source of your hope. Do not look to your faith, but to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of your faith. Keep your eyes simply on him. Let his death, his sufferings, his merits, his glories, his intercession be fresh upon your mind. When you waken in the morning, look to him. When you lie down at night, look to him. Do not let your hopes or fears come between you and Jesus. Follow hard after him, and he will never leave you.